The Roanoke Regional Water Pollution Control Plant treats, on average, 37 million gallons of wastewater every single day from the city of Roanoke, Roanoke County, Vinton, Salem, and parts of Franklin and Botetourt counties. Septic haulers also bring wastewater to the plant for treatment. Approximately 980 miles of pipe brings wastewater from more than 56,000 sewer connections. The plant operates 24 hours a day, 365 days a year to clean all of the wastewater that goes down the drains in homes, schools, and businesses. A drop of water entering the plant takes about 24 hours to move through all levels of the liquid treatment process. More than 3,000 lab tests are conducted every month to verify that the treatment process is meeting or exceeding some of the most stringent water quality standards of any plant in Virginia. The treatment process begins at the headworks where wastewater is brought in and lifted by the Archimedes screw pumps. These screw pumps are an efficient method for lifting up the wastewater so that it can then be dropped through one quarter inch screens to filter out anything that has not dissolved. Objects that do not dissolve include items that should never be flushed, like personal wipes and cleaning wipes. Grit can come from coffee grounds and from road grit that traveled with storm water that infiltrated the wastewater system. Next, the wastewater flow travels to the primaries. Here, fiberglass bars skim across the surface to remove floating scum before turning downward to scrape away any material that has settled to the bottom of the tank. This removes about 40% of the suspended solids in the wastewater. Solids get moved over to solids treatment while the wastewater flow continues on. Throughout many steps, solids and liquid will be separated for their specific treatment processes. After leaving the primaries, wastewater travels to one of 16 aeration basins. These basins are 11 feet deep. This is a managed habitat where air is blown into the flow to raise the dissolved oxygen levels in order to sustain the microorganisms that consume the organic material in the wastewater. These microorganisms include bacteria, protozoa, and metazoa. They naturally occur in freshwater, but they are concentrated in wastewater. They consume biodegradable organic contaminants, such as sugars, fats, and carbohydrates. Then they bind less soluble fractions into flock. This system is designed to substantially degrade biological content of sewage derived from human waste, food waste, soaps, and detergent. This part of the process takes about four to six hours to complete. Secondaries act like a settling basin for the microorganisms. Here, the microorganisms stop growing and reproducing. Bacteria lose their flagella and slime accumulates outside the cell walls. The organisms begin to stick together and form flock large enough to sink to the bottom of the tanks. Some of the settled flock is returned to the aeration basins to seed the next crop of microorganisms. The rest will be sent to solids treatment. Clarified water will continue on to the coagulation tanks. By this step in the treatment process, only very small particles remain. In fact, from this step onward, the liquid treatment process is very similar to the process for cleaning drinking water. Since this plant has tertiary treatment, the liquid will be cleaned completely. Ferric chloride and polymers are added to make the tiny particles bind together in masses called flock. The flock is large enough to settle to the bottom of the coagulation tanks or be caught in the filtration process. Once again, solids that settle out will be sent to solids treatment while the liquid continues through its final steps. Next, the flow is passed down through one of 10 monomedia silica sand filters. The filters are 10 feet deep and the sand will catch any tiny particles or parasites that did not settle out in earlier steps. Pathogens are removed throughout the treatment process, but the final step of chlorination guarantees the quality and safety of the water discharged into the Roanoke River. After contact with sodium hypochlorite for 30 minutes to ensure that all the pathogens are killed, the water is then treated with sodium bisulfite to remove all chlorine. After this 24-hour treatment process, the water is now clean and will be pushed out into the Roanoke River. If river flow is high, then Archimedes screw pumps can be used to assist in pushing the water out by first lifting the flow and then essentially dropping it to add enough force so that the flow can push its way into a rushing river. That concludes the liquid treatment process. Now let's head over to solids treatment. In dissolved air filtration, solids are sent to drying racks to remove as much liquid as possible before the next step. 
In the digesters, sludge from primary and secondary clarifiers is heated and mixed to promote the anaerobic consumption of organic material by bacteria contained within the tanks. First, acid-forming bacteria use the organic material energy supply to produce organic acids and carbon dioxide. A second group of bacteria, the gas formers, break down the organic acids to make methane and carbon dioxide gas. This methane is captured to assist in powering the treatment plant, thus reducing the plant's carbon footprint. After the digestion is finished, the sludge is pumped to one of five lagoons that cover 23 acres to complete treatment. Both anaerobic and aerobic bacteria consume any remaining organic matter, and solids settle to the bottom of the ponds. After about one year, the fully processed material is applied to farms as fertilizer at no cost to farmers. The application process and quality of the biosolids is held to strict standards set forth and enforced by the Virginia Department of Environmental Quality. And that completes wastewater's journey from the toilets and drains in our community through the treatment process and finally safely back out into the natural world. We hope you enjoyed learning all about your wastewater treatment system. Visit us in all of our online locations to learn more.